Today we are heading north of the border. Well, actually, the north is coming to us. My guest today is a new friend. Her name is Jay Lane. She's from Canada, and she's a popular medium up there. So that alone is going to be really interesting. Plus, she's bringing a dish I've never heard of, and I'm dying to try, Meat Loaf Wellington. Now, she can't bring all the ingredients from Canada on the plane, so she sent me a list, but I forgot to go to the store, and she's going to be here in a minute. So y'all can go with me. We're going shopping. Bring the coupons. I made it. Jay should be here any minute. These groceries in, get changed, and get to Welcome to my kitchen. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad to have you here in Nashville. I'm really, really happy to be here. Are we treating you nicely? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> is you this know, your first time here? Yes, actually, it is my first time here, but I absolutely love it. The people have been great, and I've really learned how to say y'all. <laughs> so I'm having a good time with it. And I'm going to throw in an A. Oh, yeah. You, right. you is, have to. Is it an L in a boat? In a boat. I love the Canadian accent. Oh my accent. goodness. <laughs> but I love your accent. Actually, I was telling you know someone that I'm going to go home with this southern drawl, so I'd be able to talk <laughs> like this, you know. But it, it's, 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 I'm getting there. It'll I still have a little great. practice, yeah. And I have to tell you, I, when I saw what you wanted to cook today, mm -hmm. Meatloaf Wellington. Yes. I can't wait to eat this. Oh, it's going to be yummy. I'm going to tell you. And there's and there's different ways of making this too. So we're going to have some fun with it. Okay, good. Okay. Well, let's let's start in the cooking process, All and right. then we'll chat as we go along. Perfect. All right. What's the first thing? So we've got. Um, so basically, just your eggs, and then put that in there. So we'll lightly beat it. Yep. What is a medium versus a psychic or a clairvoyant, or or is there a difference? There is a huge difference, actually. Psychic is basically, um, you know, being able to see ahead or even seeing things around people. And mediumship is just basically medium. If you think of small, medium, and large, mediums in between. And so we're the go between this this earthly plane and, and the other side essentially so basically what i do is i hear i sense i see i smell and i use all of what i feel around that to bring messages to people yeah. and it provides them a lot of comfort you know music is kind of a part of your background is that right i started singing when i was quite young my mother sang as well not professionally however Got it. and i started you know with the bands and and different things when i was younger and i loved it I'm not the greatest singer. I think I'm okay, but I'm not the that's greatest okay. singer. There's plenty of them in this yeah, town. That's so. right. So they do a better job than I do, <laughs> trust me. But you know, it, it's it's been wonderful. So and I use music actually in in the shows that I do, and I use music in terms of bringing through spirit. It's it's funny. So sometimes I'll hear a song and I'll talk to someone. I'll go, my father used to sing that all really? the time. Yeah. So I'm glad that I had the musical influence, you know, around me. I guess I got to put this in. We're getting carried away. I know. I'm getting carried. So yeah. The next. Thing. Let's see. I'm so having we've fun. Got, uh, we have the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs yeah. go in here now. Actually, I would put the um, the um, ground beef in first. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So the ground beef. Yep. So sprinkle this in. Yeah, we just sprinkle that in there. The spaghetti sauce goes in as mm -hmm. well. Actually, I would mix this up and then I would put the breadcrumbs and the spices in. Okay. So we mix that all up. When did you realize you had this gift? Mm -hmm. You know, I had a near-death experience when I was younger, and I had fallen to a lake, and, and of course, uh, my mother said that I was underwater for quite a while. When I come out of the hospital, I had um, a funny sound in my ears, and I kept on telling my mother I was hearing these chirps in my ears. As time went on, I, I just started understanding it. It's not like English or French, it's just like a sound, and for some reason I'm connected to it. And I would tell my mother what I would hear or what I was sensing, and she'd go, okay, how do you know that, you know? Uh, yeah. I let you pour Oh, that's amount. awesome. Okay. That good for yeah. the, uh, so I've got, I didn't have a third of a cup, but we can just eyeball it. There's a fourth yeah. of a cup if you want to that's add a right. little bit more. I think I will. And if you want to put a little bit of salt and pepper, Pepper in there as well. Gotcha. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah. So I've got the salt measured out. Yep. All righty. We'll put in the pepper. Yep. And just mix that up really, really well. Okay. What's a typical Canadian meal? Yeah. If you're thinking about Canadian meals, everyone you'll ask, so Canadian staple, what would you think? Oh, big beans, you know? And there's several ways of making them. There's white beans, the old fashioned way. And my parents growing up used to have just white beans. And they started adding molasses to it, you know, the dark yeah. brown beans. I've heard this 
dish called poulet or poulette or poutine. 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 Yes, French fries. French fries. Oh my goodness. Maybe seven or eight years ago, you started seeing more of poutine, and it's it's actually from Quebec. So what you do is you make French fries and you put gravy on them and cheese curds. It's it's like 5,000 calories per serving, but there's so many different variations that you can make. You can actually go to poutine restaurants in Canada. There are French fry restaurants. French fries only, poutine, and there's 20 to 30 different variations. So you can have caramelized onions with mushrooms and gravy. You can have an Italian poutine. You can have French Canadian poutine. My cameraman is shaking. <laughs> over there. Joey, are you have going into a poutine stupor? <laughs> <laughs>、yeah. We're going to take some tin foil. All right. We take a、right. little piece, and I would go about 12 inches or so. Perfect. I just kind of all throw it in there like this. All right. Oh yeah. So, like that, and then I just kind of make a nice flat as if. As if you're going over with a steamroller type thing, but I just kind of make it flat. It's like a great big hamburger patty, but it's square. So we have to kind of make it so that it when、out. we roll it, that it's a nice enough size, so that you can put your stuffing in. And then you got to watch how you put your stuffing on it because you don't want to go over your edges. So back、Lighter. to pursuing your calling.、Mm -hmm. What did you feel like your mission was? You know, I think so many people are fear-based, and they live their lives not knowing what's coming up ahead. And a lot of people don't think about passing over; they they kind of avoid the subject of dying. So when I'm able to sit there and and tell them what I'm hearing and seeing and sensing and smelling,、mm. there's a comfort that comes over them because they feel like they they have something to look forward to. They they feel that there is an afterlife and that there is somewhere to go. Can you turn it off? No, it's not something you turn off. For instance, I was at a counter the other day, and this lady was very sad. And so I told her, I said, I know you just had your dog euthanized two or three days ago. I said, but you know what? I said you had to do it. And I said the dog is very thankful. She just about fainted. She felt so guilty. She felt that she had ended this dog's life. She didn't. She set that dog free. And I had to tell her that because the dog was so happy that she had so much love for that dog to be able to, to set it. Free. So, why not share that? Some people don't take kindly, so I have to be very, very careful because some people have different belief systems, and you really have to respect that as well. But I knew she needed to hear it, so I was okay with with approaching her. You know, she ran around the corner of the counter and gave me the biggest hug, and I just felt so good. You know, that has to bring you comfort to know it does. I just help someone. I almost cry when I, I see that happiness because it just makes me feel so good. Well, now, so, now it's all up to you. Roll it up. <laughs> okay. I usually do it like this, and I just kind of, you know, scooch it over a little bit. Just scooch it over, and it's very, very simple. It, it comes a little log. You see? That looks great. And if you don't have tin foil, don't forget you can use wax. Wax paper, paper、yep. works as well. Yeah. So always try to put the seam at the bottom, and so I just kind of roll it like that. That's、Oop. perfect. I didn't get the seam at the bottom. That's all right. But we can flip her over. Then we're just gonna put that aside. Can you get it? I think so. Yep, that's good. It's kind of、mm. manipulated. Yeah, a just、bit. right in there. And that's that beautiful. Yeah, actually, it looks great. All right, let's get them in the oven. Beautiful. Like、It's smelling good. It、Is、does it smell amazing. Oh, look how wonderful that looks. Oh, that looks great. So see how it seeped out a little bit? Don't、yep. worry about that worry so about much. That. No. Maybe you just kind of. And have a little bite. That's、mm. right. Yeah. That, oh, that's delicious. I know it's really yummy. Okay. So、next. now what we're going to do is we take crescent rolls, any brand that you want, whatever you prefer to work with. So there's different ways of doing this. You can wrap the whole entire thing up if you want, or you can do it like me, lazy way, because I don't have very much time, and it's one of the reasons why I make this because it's a very easy meal to make. But it's, it's pretty. Yes. I mean, I can imagine that this is going to look great. It is、so. going to look great because that's a pretty presentation right there. What I usually do is I I do it in V's like this, and so, and then if it's too long, I just trim the end. And you don't have to worry about that. You just kind of stick. I'll just kind of lay it across. Yeah. Or like a just, little. Yeah. Like a meatloaf doily. Exactly. <laughs> 
So you've got the picture. <laughs> so you could put your like your neck stroll on like that. Like this? Yeah. Okay. So you make it all pretty and try not to overlap too much because the bread has to bake. I just think this is a great idea because everybody likes meatloaf. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a family staple. It's beautiful. And this makes it a little fancier. I mean, it in the does. inside you've got the cheese and the yeah. parsley. And, and it's like an Italian one because you have the tomato, you know, the tomato sauce and the spaghetti sauce in yeah. there. And you could just use, like I said, your I mean, favorite it looks one. That's great. And then we just throw that in the oven. That's perfect. Yep. Let that bake for another 15 minutes. 15 or so. minutes or until golden brown, depending on your oven. So once that's cooked out, it's meal time. It's Oh my gosh. I know. Doesn't it oh, smell wonderful in here? Jay, this smells, this smells so good. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. <laughs> and that very, very simple to make. And it smells delicious. And a and great presentation. It's beautiful. And all you have to do is with a salad. And you've whipped together a little salad. And beautiful. this is your one pan meal. I love that food brings families together. It brings mm -hmm. people together. Mm -hmm. But food is a central part of what you do. Did I hear you say that correctly? Well, you know, people always gather around the table for Christmas. They gather around for special locations. They go to restaurants, you know. Once a loved one passes away, they still attend all of these functions, whether you like it or not. And as we're cooking this, I'm actually feeling things around. They love the food, it attracts them. When people are happy and the vibration is high, food makes people happy, you're gonna attract right. spirits. Food is very important in it my is. world. And um, Charlie is zooming in on the meatloaf Wellington at this moment because he's like, you better be bringing this into the staple of goods. This looks wonderful. We're going to cut this and share this, but where can people see you? You're going to actually start touring yes, more it, in Canada in yes. the spring. I'm starting in March. I'm going to be... Yes, 2015. And you'll be able to find the event calendar on my website at mediumjlane.com. Mediumjlane.com. Yes. Let's uh, dig in. Dig in. Yeah, you, I'm I, in. Will you do the honors? Yes, I just Go need a knife. No, oh, a knife. Okay. Oh, I see. Do you do it like this? Y'all do it like this? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we can also do it like that. Let's start here because it's just easier. Oh, yeah. And then we just kind of cut it across. And it doesn't matter because you're going to be going for seconds. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter how... But isn't that beautiful? And the cheese just kind of mm. stays in there. It's just mm. gorgeous. You brought a lot of joy into our home today. Oh, but well, thank you. It. There you go. That's for you. Are you let's, ready? Yeah, let's dig in. Yay. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Mm -mm. That's delicious. Isn't it wonderful? Thank you. You're welcome. You're a great cook. Mm -mm. And a lovely lady. I appreciate mm. it. You're welcome.